Hi everyone, happy Sunday. So today is actually Father's Day and as you would know from this channel, Sunday night is my little time to get organized and do my kind of winding down Sunday night routine. And a big part of that is writing out my grocery list. So I really like to pre-plan like my breakfast, lunch and dinner for the week. And that is just because I really enjoy the concept of time blocking. So if I can kind of group things together and get it all done at once, it is way more efficient and it means I don't end up going to the supermarket like five times during the week because I've forgotten something or I just have no idea what I'm doing because I do kind of prefer to be a little bit more on top of my nutrition so it complements my training but that aside I will spend probably an hour on a Sunday night and I usually just write down my groceries and then I will kind of do that from like Pinterest or like um, ideas that I've got written in notes in my phone or even some cookbooks I've got laying around because I know we all tend to buy them and then they just sit on a shelf so I kind of take that time to flip through and see what I might like to make. But this week is a little bit different because I'm actually collaborating with someone and that is the Big Wellbeing Co. So because I am totally um, busy at the moment with like moving and the podcast and YouTube and work, I have actually kind of just outsourced that part of my life to someone who can do it for me. So I actually did a little Zoom consultation with Tegan and I will leave her little logo here and also all of the details in the description box down below if you're interested. But essentially the process was that we had a maybe like 20 to 30 minute Zoom call. I went over my likes, dislikes, my food intolerances. You guys know I'm lactose intolerant, so that's something that needs to be taken into consideration in terms of meal planning and things like that. And she just wrote up a beautiful little meal plan for me, sent me a description kind of video, and now I've got the meal plan with me. So I actually just printed this out and it kind of goes through um, essentially what the focus of my meal plan is. So I've gone with whole food and nutrient rich, including anti-inflammatory and Mediterranean style recipes, good protein intake to sustain training and dairy and soy free recipes. Sorry, I forgot to mention soy as well, because if any of you are my interstitial cystitis people, and you kind of have that chronic illness. Soy is a massive um, inflammatory kind of thing that I definitely also cannot eat or drink. So I always cut that out as well. But anyway, if you're seeing a Band-Aid on my hand, you are not dreaming or imagining it. I was doing a DIY today because you guys know that is something I absolutely love doing. So I was on the phone to my dad and we were having a really big long chat, probably almost for like two hours. And he kept me company while I was building it. But what I did was a little chest of drawers that I got on sale from Big W. And obviously I am moving in two or three weeks. So my focus at the moment has been a massive decluttering around the apartment, but this is something, fingers crossed, that will look good in the new place. I will grab a camera in a second and show you guys what I've done. But basically, it is just a really nice little linear three-drawer unit. And I just thought that would look really nice next to my desk in my new bedroom. But we'll have to see if it kind of fits or goes with it. If not, I can always sell it. It's totally not a drama. But it was nice to have a little project to do for my Sunday. But anyway, let me show you that. And then I am going to have to take this away with me. The best bit is... I've got all of my different recipes and then the other part was the grocery list. So I actually don't have to write a grocery list this week because I've already got one here. So I'll show you what it looks like, but she's broken it down into sections for me. So it will be really easy to walk around the supermarket because there's like fruits, um, seeds, nuts, and spices, boxed and canned things, baking things, cold things, bread, fish, meat and cheese, all sorts of stuff all broken down. So super, super handy. If you think you might want to use a similar service, then like I said, you can contact Tegan from her details in the description box below. But let me show you this cabinet and then we're going to have to run because I really need to go to Woolworths. It is already seven o'clock. So that's late enough for me because I want to actually make something for dinner tonight as well. All right. So this is what I've done today. It is a cute little cabinet from the Big W range called um, Home and Co or like Home Living or something like that but I think they mustn't be doing furniture anymore because it was marked on clearance so it's just three drawers it's got some black little legs excuse my sneakers underneath it but I've just popped the Kmart arch mirror on top for a little bit of added effect and my jewelry boxes and things so that's just like um undies and bras 
active wear and then like socks and stockings and all of that sort of stuff that like doesn't fit in your wardrobe. So I don't know if it'll end up matching the new place, but I am kind of enjoying how the natural timber like warms up the olive greens and whites in space. Ordinarily, you know me and I would totally whitewash that and like paint it, but I actually am not sure because I quite like the warmth that it really brings to this space. So we'll have to see when I move. But anyway, speaking of moving, let's go because it is getting quite late and quite cold. So I definitely want to get a move on. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it. All right, so I just got back and this is my long grocery list because it was a little bit to get a couple of ingredients and like pantry staples and things that I've been missing. But girl, let me tell you, the inflation at the moment, it is brutal out there. Like this grocery bill is probably a little bit more things than I would ordinarily purchase in my like weekly shop. And it was $175, so... Yeah, basically I've been shopping at the markets the last couple of weekends because it is a lot cheaper and I just, I'm not one who kind of knows what groceries always cost. Like I definitely think my parents would know how much per kilo would be a great price or a bad price for like bananas or something, for example. But I definitely know that I need to pay more attention to what I'm popping in my grocery cart because I can't afford to pay that much per week. That was a lot of money. So let's get into what I've got because I will need to make my lunch for tomorrow so we can maybe do a tiny bit of meal prep and stuff together as well. But lots of bright happy looking vegetables and fruits and all sorts of things so i'll drag over my bag and show you i don't know if i showed you guys this but um when my parents were in the states visiting my sister i asked them to get me one of these it's like the trader joe's bags i don't know i just really wanted one i think they look really cute so that has been one of my shop uh totes when i have like a massive grocery shop to do but anyway i will get straight into what i've got in here so Firstly, a bunch of fresh herbs and things. So I've got mint, coriander, and parsley. And honestly, I love the idea of having herbs. And I really want to get like a herb saver thing to put in the fridge. You know, the ones that are like, it's like a little plastic container and it has a little bit of water in it and it keeps them fresher for longer, like in the fridge. So that is something I'm going to hunt down once I'm in the new place. Maybe I'll do like a little like Amazon homewares haul or something like that. And I can pick up a few of those really handy kitchen gadgets. But these are the easiest way to integrate like more healthy meals into your diet because when you add a little bit of flavor with like herbs and spices and things you can literally make anything taste good so got a couple of those I also have some bananas because one of the recipes was matcha overnight oats so I might even make that so I can have it tomorrow because that would be really nice and then it has sliced up banana on top I also have a couple of cucumbers. So again, one of the recipes is tabbouleh and the other one is a ginger chicken bowl thing, I think, which I'll make on Wednesday when Jazz is here. So that has a little bit of salad-y stuff with it. Next thing I got was some avocados to go into a salad. So there is like a salad recipe that's like black beans, um, avocado, red capsicum, that kind of thing. So I've got those. I also have the red capsicum, which, oh my God, so expensive. Like it was literally $8 for two <laughs> red capsicums. So yet again, I think I'll be doing my market shops again once I'm back into that. The next thing I found, I was supposed to be finding sunflower, like um, sunflower seed butter, but I couldn't find it. I did find this one though, which I thought sounded even better. So it's by a brand called Fix and Fog and it's called Everything Butter. So it's got hemp, almond, peanut, pumpkin chia sesame sunflower and flaxseed so thought i might show you guys that one that's a little new into my pantry but that will be probably really nice to try so just on some breakfast toast to go with a smoothie and things i got some red wine vinegar i don't know why but i feel like weird carrying this around at the supermarket because it kind of looks like an actual bottle of wine Next thing I got to try is for a lentil red curry and I'm using this one, the Marion's Kitchen red curry paste. So I'm kind of yet to find like a pre-made um, red curry paste that actually tastes a little bit more authentic 
than like the restaurant ones that you can get when you go and have actual Thai food. But we'll see how this one is. I haven't tried that before, so it'll be interesting. I've also got some royal gala apples to have um, with some nut butter as like a mid-morning snack. Something for on top of those nut butter toast was some hemp seeds for healthy fats. So I just got the Woolies brand hemp seeds to sprinkle over that. And I actually used to put these in smoothies and I totally forgot about it. So they do have a five star health rating if that means anything to any of us, but they're a great source of omega-3. And I find when I incorporate some of those more like, um, you know, like fish oil tablets or omega-3 fatty acids, avocado, that kind of thing, that my skin looks really good. It feels like it kind of is high hydrating you from the inside out with like healthy fats. So the other thing that I got for the overnight oats was I went for these ones from Carmen's, which are omega-3 Australian oats with linseeds and chia mixed into it. So I thought they look kind of nice as well because they were $5 and the normal rolled oats were like only $2, but I just thought that looked a little bit nicer and a bit more interesting to have like some more grains and things mixed in. I got some of my lemons from the Odd Bunch. They were a bit cheaper. And I've got a couple of milks as well. So my stock standard um, organic almond milk from the Australian organic one. And I also got the unsweetened organic coconut milk, just Woolies brand one to try. So this is going to be for some morning smoothies. She wrote me a recipe and it was like mango and lime for a morning smoothie. And normally I just have like a chocolate banana kind of thing. So that'll be something different and a little bit interesting to try. I've also got a few tins of things here as well. So I've got light organic coconut milk. I have some corn kernels to go in a salad. I've got my organic lentils for the um, curry. And then I've got the black beans for the salad. So pop those away as well. Also for that curry, I had some vegetable stock and I also have a red onion for the salad too. So that's everything from this bag, but I also do have another big Woolies bag over here full of things to unpack as well. So for that curry, it also has some spinach in it and then I've got a bunch of limes. So this is for the mango lime smoothie and also... I think to drizzle on that black bean salad to kind of give it a little bit of zesty flavor. Then a, another meal that was in there, which I thought sounded pretty good, is pesto prawns with basmati rice and some peas. So I've got the pure basmati rice from Tilda. I quite like that brand. They do like a good coconut rice as well. Um, I've got some carrots for the chicken bowl thing that I'm making with Jazz, so that'll get all grated up. And that chicken bowl isn't on rice, it's actually on cauliflower rice, but I couldn't find cauliflower rice, so I just got this cauliflower and broccoli one instead. I got some frozen peas for the um, prawn sort of thing. And then in terms of the prawns, um, because I do my groceries quite late, sometimes like the deli section is closed, but I think it's also cheaper to potentially buy them um, frozen. So I just got these bird's eye raw frozen prawns, but I mean, prawns are a pretty bougie sort of dinner meal because this was like $22 just for prawns. So, I mean, it's a nice treat for this week, but I probably wouldn't do that every single week just because that sort of thing contributes to like your grocery bill being a bit more expensive. I have some diced onion. Um, I've also, I had to substitute out, um, there was a thing which was like some walnuts, papaya and Greek yogurt, but I couldn't find any of those things. So I just got my favorite coconut yogurt, but I got it in the mango flavor instead. The brand is called Nakula. And in the um, smoothie, I'm pretty sure it called for frozen cauliflower. And I've heard of this hack before in terms of like a low carb, like filler alternative. And apparently you can't taste the cauliflower. So I'm really interested to try this. This is a brag of like frozen cauliflower. So I will report back if I can taste cauliflower flavor in my smoothie. Fingers crossed not, but I've definitely seen people use it on YouTube in their recipes and I've actually never tried it myself. So that could be a really good hack that I might use even in my regular banana smoothies just to like cut down the amount of carbs from the banana if I did like half cauliflower and half banana. Um, I also got some vanilla extract, which I think was for the overnight oats. I've got some tomatoes. Um, I have chicken mince, which is again for that chicken bowl thing. And then I got some chicken breast. I found this one called the Bear Bird, which says it is premium free range chicken. So I'll use that for the lunch salad. 
They are frozen mango for my smoothies as well as a frozen banana and that is everything. So, I mean, I did get a ton of stuff for the amount of money that I spent. I had two massive heavy bags. So I do feel like I got good value for money. Although, like I said, it was just a little bit more expensive and doing a meal plan like this will be a little bit out of my comfort zone because I'm going to cook and make a few things that I haven't made before. So that's why I think I'll do some meal prep for breakfast and lunches tonight. And that way I've got things ready to go to take to work tomorrow and everything will feel all organized and like flow into my week. But I'm very, very excited to do that uh, pesto prawn and basmati rice one tomorrow night because I think I'll make that like my first dinner for the week but that is everything that I got maybe I'll do a tiny bit of that meal prep with you guys now and that's pretty much all all right let's go ahead and prep this one the black bean and avocado salad Thank mm -hmm. you. 